Look at this for a, a rucksack. Look at the size of it. I don't it's know huge. how they expect you to carry that anywhere. But this is the Aqua Arena Tomahawk Air C 478, something like that. Inflatable canoe. Not had it out yet. Yeah, we're gonna test it out today. First time out on the water and we're gonna pump it up and off we go. <laughs> there's a few videos on YouTube, but it's not actually a decent one that shows it any, in any great detail. So that's what we aim to do on this. Yeah. Video. Just show how it handles and what's included and blah, 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 all that. All the so usual uh, stuff. <laughs> let's get it blown up. Right, so just to demonstrate, we've not actually had this inflated at all yet. So this is a, a trial run of it, still in its cellophane. The seat pads come separate. They don't tend to fit in the backpack too well with it, which is a bit of a disappointment, but it, it is what it is. Right, so you do get a pump with this version, a high pressure pump. Now the instructions say do the keels first, there's an inflatable chamber on each end on the keels and then the two sides and then the floor. So there's always just opening up the flaps there. So we've seen one review where they say the pump, the standard pump that it comes with doesn't come with the right adapter but it does, it actually fits inside the keel valves there, you just have to give it a, a bit of persuasion. It is a bit awkward to be honest getting the pipe in the ends apparently you can paddle it without those inflated but just want to try everything properly first time so uh, yeah there we go all inflated don't think much to the method of inflating the keels it's uh, a bit awkward this is the three seater version but we've only brought two seats along because it's just me and zoe today yeah nice and solid from first impressions it looks really like roomy inside because obviously you've got thin walls as opposed to Walls. Yeah, so this is drop stitch, which means you can have a lot higher pressure than your typical inflatable, which makes it, you know, handle and feel like a like a solid. Um, Air C stands for air canoe. Yeah, let's get it out on the water. Right, so immediately after getting in, it just feels so much more effortless to paddle. Just glides through the water. It's not as stable as the Itawit that we're used to, but it's not. Certainly not unstable, is it? No, it's like it feels slightly more rocky, but then it feels like more solid, like the floor's a lot harder and it just feels, yeah. But it, it does, it just goes through the water so easily. Yeah, so uh, we've, we've paddled solids and this, uh, I would definitely say this is on par. It's, uh, I would say this is nicer than a solid. Would you? Yeah, because solids have got like horrible wooden seats and they're really uncomfortable and this is like way more comfortable. <laughs> so I normally sit at the front just because I do. It's <laughs> because Gareth's steering, I think, at the back. And in over the one, there's still quite a lot of room for me, to be fair, but this one's actually huge. So I've got my legs crossed at the moment, but if I uncross my legs, you can still see I've got like all that space. It's like, it's just huge. <laughs> it's really. Yeah, loads and loads of room for Very things room. in the front. <laughs> right, I'm officially impressed because this is the first inflatable I've been in that you can paddle solo with a canoe paddle by doing a, uh, a J stroke. So Zoe's gonna stop paddling now and I'm just gonna paddle up this stretch and just, uh, just speed it up just to show you. But it doesn't mean you get out of doing all the work, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though, it has the performance and everything of a solid but packs up into a, you know, a, a, something you can fit in your airing cupboard. Right, so just going on to the seats with these, the back of the seats, not sure how well you can see in bright sunlight, but you've got a bottle holder either side and a nice big pocket there with mesh at the bottom. So all three seats have got that. Um, do you want to comment on the comfort Zoe at all? Yeah, they're com they are comfortable actually. The other ones we have are like inflated, whereas these have kind of like got like a foam on the inside. But yeah, they're really nice, sort of firm without being too sinky. And uh, yeah. Probably not so good if you've got piles, but... Who's got piles? <laughs> Someone might have. <laughs> Just approaching a lock now. Gonna see what it's like to get out. It's quite a high bank really. Good thing about this is because it's a drop stitch floor, it's quite stable to sort of stand up on, you don't feel like you're sinking and things. 
Yeah, one of the good things is it's just like standing on a normal floor, so it's kind of easy. Yeah. Alright. Oh. So, yeah, stood up. Don't know if you can see my feet there on the floor. Yeah, that was... Uh, it's easier than like our other canoe. A lot easier to get in and out of. It's good. First impressions. Yes, definitely. Tell you what, it's nice to get out there and feel a bit of breeze because it's um, a bit shaded down on the back, on the water. It's about 20, 22 degrees today. All right, so we've just had a bit of a jiggle around with the seat straps because I think we had them the wrong way around before. We did, um, we had them the wrong way around. <laughs> and Zoe reckons the back supports a lot better now yeah, on the seats. Crazy. So we're just heading back to the campsite now for um, you've got to take it out of the water and just show you in a bit more detail for anything we've missed and some. You know, some final thoughts. Alright, so we're back at the campsite now on dry land. Impressed is one word, certainly for me anyway, and I think Zoe will echo yeah, that. Yeah, definitely going to be the favourite, I think. It's, uh, oh, it's night and day difference. So just run you through the some of the exterior, you know, grab handles, carry handles. You've got solid keels there. Now they have, these have got an inflatable small chamber inside just to give it a, a bit of shape but they are a bit awkward to um, inflate because they are tucked right down there. I don't know if you can see that valve down there. Three main compartments. You've got two drainage valves there. So if you do get water in the in the boat, it's easily drained. You've got two of these skegs. Now I'll just get Zoe to tip the boat up so you can have a look where they go on the back. So you've got one there at the rear and then one at the front as well. Completely flat bottom really stable on the water it's um we give it a good rock back and forth didn't we yeah we was expecting it to be i think a bit more rocky because we have an inflatable already and that one tends to be quite stable like you can really shake that one and you can't tip it over but we moved around you know doing the bit of that as you do and still it's yeah it's really really stable you can feel it moving more than any and the other inflatable we have but it is really stable i, I think, was really surprised because i was expecting it to be rocky i think you'd struggle to tip it over I do, yeah. it, it's more stable than solid um, but it very much feels like a solid to paddle now the floors have got um I can't, just the guy rope just kicking him out there. The floors have got this foam sort of uh, protection really or grippy stuff for the floor. So you've got a section at the front and a big section that runs there to there in the rear. As I said, this is the three person canoe. So we've only got two seats in, but you can imagine three seats in there. And then, uh, yeah, I'm not really going to say much more on it at the minute because this is the first time out with it. So, um, first impressions are good we've been probably hour and a half paddling on it and it's uh, plenty of attachment points as well for you know the seats and bungeeing things in and everything like that and it's uh, not a bad word to say on it really at the minute but it's it's early days they do get good reviews and uh, which is the reason we got it <laughs> and, uh, but yeah so far so good so just jumping forward a couple of weeks and um, we're out again been out a few times now on this and um, yeah everything's still all right so to sum up yeah from our experience so far would definitely recommend it um, this was from sailboats.co.uk they've been absolutely fantastic with anything we've wanted to know any advice or you know anything to do with the equipment they sell very very knowledgeable people so um, i'll put a link in the description for for that if you if you do want and you know it was the best price as well so uh, yep that's the aqua marina tomahawk air c which is air canoe stupidly today we forgot to bring the skegs so, so it's uh, a practice run with, uh, without them <laughs> yeah it's so it's actually not too bad it's surprising it handles better than most canoes we've been in the itawit with without the skegs and it was a nightmare it was going around in circles but yeah. this this hasn't been too bad no, so it, it is doable it is better with the skegs in granted but uh, <laughs> yeah if you are interested in this link in the description as always and uh, thank you for watching